This is the party for the end of the 2011 Roboboat competition. The big day is all over. In the morning, we had the second qualifying runs. The teams that didn't do two runs yesterday got a second chance to try and score enough points to get into the finals. And then in the afternoon, that was the main event. The top few teams got a single 20 minute run to see if they could win the prizes. Here's how it all went down. In morning qualifying, Cedarville had one of their best runs of the weekend, steaming through the speed gates in 30 seconds and getting past two channel buoys. UCF continued their top form with a 24 second speed run and six channel buoys, passing all three obstacles and attempting to hose down the burning boat in the fire task. The US Naval Academy finally pushed their luck too far, sacrificing a successful speed gate run only to veer off course and end up with just a start gate. Georgia Tech Atlanta played it safe today, choosing accuracy over speed at the gates and successfully getting past the first yellow buoy. Stevens showed off a textbook channel run, with eight navigation markers and three obstacle bypasses, followed by an attempt to fight the fire. With dead controllers on their hands, Florida Atlantic was unable to navigate autonomously. Instead, they used their run as one last data gathering mission for next year, remote controlling the boat to attempt the Earth task and giving the crowd a thrill as their hermit crab-like rover slipped off the edge into the water. A lot of problems, um, but uh, we played around remote control and that was fun. So. University of Rhode Island took off at full speed, skipping some of the channel to visit three of the task stations, water, earth, and fire. Ruddy, ruddy, ruddy! Rans, rans, rans! Ruddy, ruddy, ruddy! Rans, rans, rans! Taiwan's NCKU suffered a failure of the only part they hadn't brought a replacement for, a drive motor. Valiant scavenging attempts were not successful and they wound up only limping through the start gate. Virginia Tech took Speed Demon honors in the morning, screaming through the speed gates in 20 seconds and getting past two obstacles in the channel. The tragedy of the day befell Michigan. With everything else working, they couldn't get enough water time overnight to fix a PID loop problem that stopped their boat from even driving forwards. After qualifying finished, teams waited anxiously to see who made it into the final roster. Seven got the nod, Dipper Nogoro, both Georgia Tech teams, UCF, Virginia Tech, Stevens, and URI. When the final started, Georgia Tech Savannah made 15 brave attempts in their 20 minute run to start the course, but vision problems aborted them all before the gates. They earned 7th place and a check for $500. Underdog Indonesian favourite Stipo Nogoro took a long lunch break not knowing they'd made it into the finals and no one could find them until the finals were almost over. An international search finally located them, but with no time to charge their computer battery, their boat lost power after three attempts. They earned 500 American greenbacks for 6th place in the finals and another 500 for innovation in design for a custom purpose. Stevens Institute of Technology took it slow through the channel in their final run, passing eight channel markers and all three obstacles. This earned them fifth place and a check for a cool grand. Virginia Tech's boat almost made channel navigation look easy, sashaying around two obstacles like a leaf in the wind. After losing the channel, the team took the points, along with fourth place and 2,000 big ones. Georgia Tech ASDL also did well in the channel. A fast speed gate run and most of the nav buoys and obstacles netted them third place and 3,000 bucks. UCF threw caution to the wind and went in the water early, doing well on channel nav all the way to the blue buoy but then getting a little bit lost. As the robot executed a search pattern, the team decided to run out the clock. Smart thinking that got them second place and a whopping check for 4,000 smackers. That left the University of Rhode Island team hungry for the win. Their boat rampaged through the channel, content to skip a few buoys along the way in order to attack the final tasks. A red bucket was mistaken for the water task button on two attempts, however, sending the boat into the weeds both times. With their thrusters fouled, the clock ran out with URI in first place, gaining them this year's Roboboat 2011 championship title, along with $6,000 in cold, hard, oversized check. In addition to the top seven, five teams were awarded extra $500 prizes at the final wrap-up banquet. First timers Stevens and Cedarville were both recognized for Rookies of the Year in Performance and Design, the award for outstanding sportsmanlike performance went to the two-man team from the US Naval Academy. Despite writing in a second language, the best paper award went to Taiwan's National Cheng Kung University. And the University of Michigan won the award for pushing the envelope in science and technology with their 3D sensor fusion system. That wraps up Roboboat 2011. A tough course tackled with hardcore engineering skills, sleepless nights, and great team spirit. Well done to all the teams, Thanks again to AUVSI Foundation and ONR. I'm Zoz Brooks. See you next year. Bravo!